All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you know that Al-Hafidh is the one who saves our religion? Have you heard about Bil'am ibn Ba'ura? Bil'am ibn Ba'ura was one of the greatest scholars of the children of Israel. His supplications were accepted. He achieved a high level of knowledge and he was a devoted worshipper. However, his heart was filled with the love of fame and money. He would seek knowledge for the love of power and fame. Thousands of people would come to him to learn about Allah's religion. It was narrated that Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, sent him to the king of Madian to call him to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the king offered him the most beautiful woman, money and fame if he gives up the religion of Musa, peace be upon him, and join him. It was Bil'am's first test. Did he accept the offer of the king and give up the religion of Musa, peace be upon him? Unfortunately, he accepted the king's offer and left Islam. This story is the example of anyone that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the knowledge, yet he didn't apply it and followed his whims and desires. He chose to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of pleasing him and chose his life over his afterlife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واتل عليهم نبأ الذي آتيناه آياتنا فانسلخ منها فأتبعه الشيطان فأتبعه الشيطان فكان من الغاوين ولو شئنا لرفعناه بها ولكنه أخلد إلى الأرض واتبع هواه فمثله كمثل الكلب إن تحمل عليه يلهث أو تتركه يلهث ذلك مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآياتنا فقصص القصص لعلهم يتفكرون If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't fix our hearts on his religion we would fall victim to suspicions and be led astray by whims we hear about scholars who spend their lives studying books, became disbelievers, and some of them became heretic, but some with little knowledge still prostrate to him. He is Al-Hafidh who saved our faith. There is a scholar without mentioning his name who wrote a book in which he defends the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was said then that book was his lead to paradise. He was praised on the platform of the sacred mosque, but years later the fingers of perversity played with his heart and suspicions woven around his ideas webs of doubt. All of a sudden axioms became hypotheses and facts became opinions. Behind these suspicions and among the stacks of delusion, he held his pen and composed a book attacking Islam. In this book, he attacks Islam by saying that the religion of Allah is nothing but shackles and restrictions. We seek refuge with Allah from abandonment. Don't be distracted by your knowledge, nor by your memorization of the book of Allah, nor by your memorization of anything from the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. We would go astray if Allah didn't save our faith. But how do we preserve our faith? Let's listen to the following hadith to learn. Umm Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, was asked, O mother of the believers, what was the supplication that Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said most frequently when he was with you? She said, the supplication he said most frequently was, O changer of the hearts, make my heart firm upon your religion. Allahumma ya muqallib al-qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenik. She said, so I said, O Messenger of Allah, why do you supplicate so frequently? O changer of the heart, make my heart firm upon your religion. He said, O Umm Salama, verily, there is no human being except that his heart is between two fingers of the fingers of Allah. So whomsoever he wills, he makes steadfast, and whomever he wills, he causes to deviate. Our Lord, forgive me, my parents and the believers, the day the account is established. Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate after you have guided us and grant us from your mercy. Indeed, you are the bestower.
جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته